Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. We're going to be doing a really fast, simple install of a mod called No Minimap on Foot. And as the mod name would suggest, that it takes the minimap away from the screen while you're on foot. And I'm going to show you how to do it in today's video. Now, this mod is made by Rowit. Uh, he's one of my admin that's on my Discord. And speaking of Discord, be sure to visit the Discord down below. We've got about 3,000 members, so be sure to check that out. And then uh, he's got the No Minimap on Foot. So it's a pretty nifty little mod. So uh, pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and download this and get it on the desktop. I click on download this file and get the latest version. Okay, we have the zip file on the desktop right now. We're going to pull up our main A directory. I'm sure you guys already know how to get there. We're going to go ahead and open up the zip file for the no mini map on foot. And it's going to have a plugins folder. So it's a really simple drag and drop procedure. So you have a plugins folder right there. You don't have to drag it into the folder. The best type of install practice is the author usually already has the pathway set up inside the folder. So the easiest thing to do is take the entire folder and just drag it right down here into the main game directory and it will emerge with the plugins folder which is right there now i already have this installed but we're going to go ahead and replace it so it is now installed if you go to your plugins folder i've got a lot of plugins i apologize but we're going to go down here to the no mini map on foot which is right here so you're going to see three files that were just installed into your plugins folder only not to be confused with your lspd far folder that is in here which is where all your callouts go so it is right here and if you open up the config file which is no mini map on foot, you'll see it says configuration setting. If you click on that, it will look something sort of like this. So he's got a uh, modifier key if you want to see the map while you're on foot. And I'll explain that in a demo in today's video. But for now, we're going to go ahead and leave everything the same. But if these uh, keys, you know, conflict with another key that you have, maybe the L key conflicts with something else, you can consider changing these right here in the config file. Then you'd go up and you'd save it. And there's one little thing I was going to show you real fast. If you have your Rage plugin hook executable file on your desktop, or if you have it in your main game directory. Now, personally, I have it right here, but I also store it on my taskbar at the very bottom. So I'm going to double click this and hold my shift key down for about two or three seconds. Now, here's your Rage plugin hook menu right here. Now, usually I tell people for the plugin timeout threshold, uh, if that's defaulted to 10,000, make sure that says 60,000. That allows Rage hook to load your plugins more effectively. And now let's go into the plugins tab right up here. Now, on my end, I've got a lot of plugins. So I usually don't like to have Rage Hook try to load every single one of these plugins. That's a lot. So it's very taxing on Rage Hook to do that. And sometimes the game will tend to crash. So I like to load these things myself in game. So if you don't, if you go down here, I usually like to have LSPD first response checked. And then the no mini map uh, will be unchecked at the beginning. If you want to have Rage Hook loaded every single time and you really like the mod and you know you're going to use it every single type of patrol, then you'd click right there and then you just save and launch your game. Now, personally, I like to load it in game and I'll show you what that looks like. Now, here we are inside the game. If you look to the bottom left of the screen, you're going to see a mini map right there. Now, the speed limit sign, that's a completely different mod called Simple HUD. So disregard that. But the mini map, the reason why it looks like that is because I have a 4K satellite map mod installed. If you want to learn how to install something like this in under three minutes, be sure to look at the video description. There is a video there to help guide you and to get that thing installed in under three minutes. It's super easy. So now I told Rachel not to load this for me because I like to load my mods personally in game because I like to pick and choose what I'm going to use. So as of right now, the no mini map is not loaded yet. So I'm going to tell Rachel to go ahead and load it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and press F4, get to the Rage console. I'm going to say load plugin, start typing it out, press tab, press space, and start typing out no mini map. And you'll see it's, it's trying to spell it for me. So now I'm going to press tab key and then I'm going to press enter. And it should load it up and you can see there above the mini map that it is uh, loaded there and it's successfully loaded by Rowit. and now when i get out of the car it's going to be a little bit more realistic uh, as you know if you're doing foot chases and whatnot so if we get out of the car there's no mini map now so uh, this is a pretty cool little nifty mod i really like it the postal address that you see right there that's through simple hud as well and that will remain on the screen now if i wanted to cheat a little bit i can press the shift key plus the l key and i can see the mini map right there if I wanted to find my vehicle, for example, sometimes it's hard to find your vehicle if you're on a foot pursuit. So if you're on a foot pursuit and you're pretty far away, uh, you know, picture yourself maybe three three blocks away from your car. Sometimes it's, it's kind of hard to remember where in the hell you parked at. So if you have trouble, if I press the shift plus the L key by default, uh, it's going to be right down here. See it turn white there on the minimap. If you need to see where your car is, for example, or maybe if you just need a little hint on where the suspect ran to, you could always do that. But for immersion's sake, it's a pretty good little nifty mod. And then uh, we can get back in the vehicle and the uh, mini map will pop back up and we're all good to go. So Ro did a good job. I've been telling him that I wanted to do a little demo for this. And like I said before, he's one of my admin on Discord. So he's doing a good job. 
He's been coming out with some more mods. We're gonna do some more, uh, you know, little videos like this uh, for little small mods, uh, you know, throughout the upcoming weeks. So be on the lookout for that. Until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next patrol. Take care and stay safe. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.